Hey guys, Nick here. Today I'm going to show you how to use uh, the NIME equivalent of an IF statement from Excel. Um, and the way we're going to do that is we're going to look at this current data set that we have here from previous uh, from our previous videos example. We're going to take this data set and we're basically going to say, right, every time you see store number 1156, I want you to give me an extra column that says um, that the store is the headquarters, right? So um, then whenever you don't see store number 1156, then just give me an NA because we're not looking at the headquarters, right? So to get started, first I know after I do this join, that's when I want, I want to add in that rule where we create that column. Um, because any manipulation afterwards, um, I'd rather it be on the full table. So I move this node over a bit to make room to drop in the next the node we're going to be working with into this current connection. So if you go over to your node repository, right, it'll look a little something like this. You click into the search box and you're going to type in rule. And you're going to look for this rule engine node over here going to click that, drag it and drop it onto our workspace and really you could just straight take it and drag and drop onto the actual connection so then it'll be on the connection right it's now part of the workflow and now we can double click to configure it so within here is where we're going to do our call it our if statement right so now remember we want our rule we want the we want this rule to basically look at every store number and whenever store number 1156 matches then we want the the um a new column created that has the letters hq for headquarters in that column if that's not the case then we just want an na because we want to signify or flag that we're not looking at the headquarters right so to get this started we're going to say the variable in question is our store number, right? So add that to the expression box by double clicking up here. So store number, and then we're going to say equal to 1156. And the reason I have quotes around this is because I, I know from our previous videos where we did the, this other work, um, from our previous videos, I know that 1156 is formatted as a string and not an integer. Um, so since it's formatted as a string, we want to use the quotes. So nine recognizes that it should look for a string, not a number, right? So what we're saying is store number equal to 1156. We're going to do then, if that's the case, give me the output of HQ for headquarters, right? So once again, store number equal to 1156 then consider this like you're then then give me this output of HQ right and now if it's not HQ what I want is gonna be an NA right so this one is a bit a bit against like conventional thought I actually don't know why yet um, but trust me this is how it works right so now we're gonna say true right true give me na so what we're saying here is really whenever whenever this statement is false then the true value should be na right so if this top statement is false then tr the true value then is na Right, that's how I understand it in my head. Um, and if you guys just have a little bit of trust in me, I'm, I'm, I'll show you the output, and you'll see that's what we're working with. Right. So that is our if statement. It's that easy. Now we just have this next option of: Do we want to add a column with this value, or do we want this rule to replace a current column in our data set? Uh, I know I want a column that says HQ or headquarters. Right. So it adds more detail to our data set. So I'm going to say append a column or add a column we're going to name this column headquarter or headquarters and now all I have to do is hit apply hit OK 
the note is still yellow so it's already um, it's already configured it's ready to execute so I'm gonna right click hit execute so you see green it's been executed I'm gonna right click and now go to this classified values option to see the data table so now let me make this a bit smaller so now you can see we've got these this new column called headquarters and there's NA values as well as HQ values in here so if we sort real quick oh did I just freeze okay sorry so if we sort I'm gonna sit sort descending so you can see all these NA's and then you've got your HQ's over here if you look at every HQ value every HQ value matches store number 1156 just like we had originally intended to whereas every value that's an NA if we look down these let's sort this in a numerical order every value that's not an NA or every value that's an NA I'm sorry every NA value is not a store number 1156 so now we know our rule or our if statement is set up correctly and we're good to go so just to show you guys again the setup we said basically our variable right equal to some value then give me my output if this is false then the true value is then this All right and that ladies and gentlemen is how you set up an if function in NIME um, let me know if you have any questions or anything is unclear just drop it in the comments and like always hit the like button hit the subscribe button share this with your friends that are learning or transitioning to NIME and let me know if you guys want me to do videos specific to any other topics or somewhere where you might be getting stuck or you something you want to learn in NIME um, and I'll do my best to get it up as soon as I can but anyways guys I'll catch you on the next video